so it's been a while since I made a video with this thing. This is my Arduino Uno with a Bluetooth chip and an accelerometer uh, and a standalone battery pack. It uses Bluetooth serial and uh, I made this as a vibration monitor to help me while I was a grinder operator at a former job. And now I'm a maintenance mechanic and I'm having an issue lately with this fan for our dust collector unit, which is massive by the way. Uh, giving us a lot of vibration on a bearing and we think we probably have a bad bearing in here somewhere I won't be able to tell much with my Arduino but I will uh, give it a shot and see what we can do right now I pair everything to a tablet that runs Windows so it's more like a computer but uh, I use Realterm and KST for graphing there's a picture of my old grinder actually but uh, we'll see how this works so I connected the Bluetooth port at serial. So right now, through real term, this is what the data looks like. If I move the box around, it starts giving me crazy numbers. But basically I put all of this into a Windows Notepad file and that's how the graphing software will read that and you'll see the graph that it makes. Let me uh, cue that up. So I secured this to the frame of this fan. Uh, We'll have to see. Mounting is kind of key with vibration analysis, but this is kind of just more for demo purposes. But we should be able to get some pretty good data when this thing starts up. It's a pretty big fan. It's 40,000 CFM, 250 horsepower. Here's everything as it's going now. So this will smooth out as time goes on. But, uh, you know, in theory, if I were to toss something over there, it should register. I'm going to throw this over there. And there you go. So, we reset this unit. This will slowly ramp the fan up. We'll go outside, shut it down after it's running for a minute and see what happens. Should start seeing those oscillations get wider as the speed slows down. And obviously the, the frequency here, this is FFT, I'll explain that in a second. But you can see the left side of the graph is now increasing a lot more. Each one of those pings pretty much correlates with that knocking sound you hear. That's our bearing or something that's not right. Could be the fan out of balance, there's a million things it could be, but like I said, this is just for demo. So anyways, there you have it. That is an Arduino Uno with KST. And uh, for the price, you can't really beat it. You know, that people pay like $16,000 for vibration analysis equipment, and obviously this is nowhere near the, like, the capabilities of that kind of stuff. But, you know, for someone who's got enough devotion to trying to program something, you know, with that graphing software, it's possible. I mean, you can really get the data that you want. It's all about knowing 
how to go about and do it. But, uh, you know, that's my update. So, it's been like four years since I had a video of that box. Here's the new one. Still works.